Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can add comments to an item in a Microsoft list. Now, we could add comments to documents for quite some time. Uh, let me demonstrate that to you really quick. So here is a document on one of my team sites, and let's say I want to add a comment. Uh, we can do it in the browser. We can do it on the native app. Uh, I open this document in the browser. Here we go. And I can, you know, I can, uh, um, uh, you, you know, add a comment right here. So here we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, so um, here is a comment I added to, to the document. Uh, now, we can now do the same in a list as well. Uh, quite easy to do. Let me show you how to do that. Uh, let me navigate back. So here's my project list. There are a couple of ways for you to add comments. You can either hover over the uh, item where you want to add comments and you can click on this little comment uh, icon over here. Uh, or you can just literally just open this up, um, you know, the, the item itself and then click that little uh, comment uh, field over here. And this is where you, um, um, uh, you know, uh, can add additional uh, information, the comments. Uh, as well, um, project running late. All right, so here we go. That's a comment. All right, and as you add comments, they will appear in reverse chronological uh, order. So uh, let me type in another comment. Here we go. Uh, that's pretty much how they will uh, appear, and it's a great way to write get you know additional information about a particular uh, a particular um uh, you know item um if you click uh, it will pretty much display the the information you know to you and you can uh, um you can uh, you, you can hopefully obtain more information that you need now uh one thing i want to also clarify very very important uh this is not the same as metadata right uh it's not like another way to capture comments would be to maybe add um uh, add maybe like a, a text field or something and uh, capture comments that way uh, in which case they will be searchable. So if you search that list, um, the text that you search for will be picked up. Uh, with comments, it does not pick up that um, in, you know the, the text. So whatever you type in in here, it's only for for you to view on an item by item you know basis. Uh, this text is not searchable when you search for it. So it doesn't behave uh, the same as metadata does. So just wanted to, uh, to explain that. Other than that, uh, pretty straightforward to use. And by the way, if you want to delete a particular comment, so here we go, I'm going to delete one of the previous comments. It's as easy as just deleting it um, you know, from the list of available comments. So that's all I wanted to show you today. Uh, hopefully you learned something new as always. Happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.